All right, guys, two things right from the start. One, YouTube has been super benevolent in allowing me to use images like the one we're using here today uh, to demo things like SKN, because this panel is uh, really, really great for glamour, boudoir, uh, art nudes, which we definitely can't show on, on YouTube, but things of that nature. It's so good on body skin. We love to show those kind of things. Now, since we also recently moved to no monetization, no ads on NBP channel, that's also helped. But that's the first thing. Thank you, YouTube, for your benevolence. Two, if for some reason you don't want to see lingerie images, then please move along. But SKN has really, really come. All right, I'm just going to be blunt. It's extremely misunderstood. Like it's popular and people love it. And there's a lot of people who do get it, but there's a lot of questions that we receive that have been, how do we put this? Um, how do I put this? Okay. Because of the AI revolution in all kinds of things, but especially in editing, people think every single skin editor out there um, for Photoshop or whatever is AI based. That is uh, artificial intelligence looks at the situation and swaps out things that are bad and removes things that are bad and everything's great. Man, those things are awesome. Evoto and some of the other tools, fantastic. But they seem really, really focused on faces, which makes sense because that's, I said it again. Now, excuse me, I'll say it again. A lot of, lot of portrait editing is mostly faces. But what if you do shoot glamour, boudoir, fashion, art nudes, fine art, and you need body skin editing and not just cleanup? For example, this shot, completely edited and clean. I like the light shaping. I like the overall color tonality, but I want to add some depth to her skin. Well, see, that is where SKN comes in really, really good. The toning tab here on SKN, this toning tab is uh, pretty misunderstood. I want to walk you through it, kind of give you an idea. I'm also going to give you a demo of why it's as powerful as it is because it's not always obvious. Now I have a bunch of presets, I'm not going to work with those at the moment. I'm just going to hit play on my final flattened layer with my edit. Here we go. Hit play and let it run its thing. I want to give you guys a little bit of a tour of the underpinnings, not because I want you to understand a technical, but to get an idea in case you haven't of what we're dealing with here. First and foremost, we have a beautiful mask. I mean, the little eyeball down here shows us our mask. Already, this is something that people don't understand. This is not a common mask you can get in Photoshop. Okay, we are enhancing what Photoshop can see, okay, in our process that SKN runs, letting you have these cool, really brilliant masks. Now, things like blonde hair and light brown hair and things of that nature, often red hair, will get involved in the mask, but they're easy fixes. Often, though, when I'm toning like this, I actually don't even unmask the hair most of the time. So we have toning, we have grading, two tabs inside here once we've run it. Now, a couple of things. Let's say I have a nice clean image like this, I want to add some depth and some dynamics to the skin tone, right? Cool. Let's maybe start with the midtones. We'll darken them. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Often when you darken midtones like this, okay, you get a little bit of a color boost that you may not want. And that's why the desaturation slider is always there because deep skin tones are more muted than they look. Now, let's, dar let's darken a lot. Here we go. Something like that. Now, we're, we, got a, we had a flat look before we started flat-ish, <laughs> and now it's flat and dark. What do we do? All kinds of things. We can pull up the highlight intensity to bring up new highlights, increase the range, increase the range some more. Okay, and then we have linear contrast we can pop. Look at that. All right, and then we can go to grading and choose one of these grading presets. It doesn't change all the color, but it washes over the color. How about that one? Let's try that one. We'll take the saturation of the grade down a little bit. All right, let's see what we got from this to this. You know, maybe that's a little strong, but the overall tonality is fine. Fantastic. Go back to the main tab of toning, change the overall opacity. All right, so it went from this, a good clean edit, and now we have some depth. Now we have some highlights that are popping. We can make it even stronger. See how strong those highlights are? We can reduce the range of them. We can choose an even tighter range, a broader range. We are bringing back highlights that we got rid of. We can increase the contrast amount quite a bit desaturate more if we're losing color. We can get rid of the original highlights by going to the highlights option and turning down the brightness. That reduces the actual highlights of the shot, allowing us to focus on our, uh, quote, fake highlights here, right? And now went from this to this. We have completely rebuilt the tonality and feel of the skin tone. And when you have a lot of skin in your shot, often that's a priority. Now, de deepening and darkening 
you know, enhancing tans, enhancing already dark complexions. This is usually what, what I tend to do and what most people want. But brightening a skin tone, lightening a skin tone, reducing the contrast of a skin tone. These are all things you can do as well. And they're very, very, very useful. Okay. Now, in terms of the grading options, um, we can also do things like choose an overlay blend mode instead of soft light. The opacity is very low, so the difference is minimal. Okay. But if we change that, we can see there's quite a bit of difference. Overlay really pops. Hue, if you want something more subtle. Color, if you want to include the saturation. All kinds of choices there. All that's fine. But let me show you something that you probably don't realize. In fact, I know you don't. <laughs> okay. SKN, this is where it gets interesting. Follow me here. SKN, the panel itself, the user interface, has been um, throttled, if you will, to give you ranges that make sense in editing human skin tone, regardless of nationality or where the complexion starts. We've done a lot of analyzing and we've done ranges that make more sense. Obviously this is all a little bit too dark. So we're going to tone some of that down, get something a little bit realistic. Cool. All right. Well, maybe not quite as much brightness. There we go. But here's the thing. We are doing a full <sighs> HSB replacement. We're not using curves layer. We're not using uh, levels. We're not using exposure layers. We are replacing the color and I'm going to prove it to you. Okay. So inside the SKN folder, which uh, not only do I not think you want to be in there, I don't recommend you go in there because there's a lot of technical things happening. Really not that technical in the end, but if you're new to all this, it can be confusing. Here's our midtones picker. All right. So if we look at that mask, this is how SKN has extracted the midtones. Okay. It's not arbitrary. It's a perfect calculation to make sure that it mixes perfectly with the extracted highlights and the extracted lows. Okay. So it's a beautiful calculation and it's there. Now, this is our color picker that allows us to do the HSB replacement. How can I prove that to you? How about pure green? See, why would you need that? Ah, okay. <laughs> I can hear some of you saying, oh, well, oh, cosplay, oh, this, and I get it, I get it, I get it. But that's not what this is for, all right? But this is how much power we have. So when you take, for example, this gray, uh, let's go to brightness and deepen it. This is what the panel is doing. It is replacing the mid-range, which is a 50% neutral gray in the calculations. And as we darken lower than 50%, in this case, 39, you can see the result. It is a beautiful replacement, HSB replacement. It has to do with um, some cool masking um, and blend modes and things like that. It's all calculations, all of it, okay? But the reason why I show people that you can be crazy with like neon pink is because they don't realize that it's a full replacement, HSB replacement. And you can probably guess, that the uh, shadows are the same. That's going to be really radical when we change that. See that? Okay. What does all this mean for you? Well, for one, just to repeat, don't go into the layer stack unless you know what you're doing. Really no need to, to get beautiful looks. The panel is great. But when you go into the layer stack, you can kind of disconnect some of the functionalities on accident. No real need to do it. Whether we expand further on this and offer full HSB replacement, tools and toys of some kind or uh, advanced selections and things like that. We are working on all of that for future upcoming panels, but this is focused on skin. So when you deepen those midtones, you are doing a beautiful replacement. What does that mean? It means you get seamless results, far more seamless results that look like you put a ton of work into it, right? Not to mention this highlight boost. At the end of the day, that's what we're working with is contrast, right? So we're trying to get that contrast of the skin from kind of flat to this, right? And then you come in here and choose like, oh, I don't know, however you want to color grade. Let's say you take a selective color and you're going to add something in the mids here like that. And then I don't know, in the shadows, make it a little bit maroon, soften it up. There's some color grading. Okay. So there's some color grading. Here is your flat image and here's your enhanced skin tone. Again, uh, I don't, I'm not saying this is perfect. It might be a little strong. We can turn that down. But the beauty is that flexibility and that power to do absolutely only what we want to change, right? We're not brightening and darkening and hoping. We start with amazing masks that can be very easily fixed if you want to, you know, fix a little thing that it missed here and there, a mask out the hair, things like that. But that H HSB replacement is so powerful on the toning functionality. It's not just, I mean, I, I could say it a million times, but it's not just curves or levels or something of that nature. All kinds of tools available to you. Um, these skin tone options are just here to give you 
you know, to explore, you know, obviously lighter ones create a lightning effect, darker ones tend to create a darkening effect, et cetera, et cetera. But play around with them, change the opacity, change the saturation of that one overall toning. Cause a lot of times we get more yellow, more pink. I mean, guys, I know it's misunderstood. I know a lot of people ask questions like, I don't understand it. It just looks like I add some uh, selective color to it. Yeah, I get it, but it's not that. And your results will show it, especially when you print or when you have really high res, you'll notice that the differences are so much better. Now, if you have any questions, I want you to leave a comment below, whether this is YouTube or Facebook or wherever, leave me a comment below, drop us an email, nbp at ninobatista.com. Let me know what questions you have because I don't know how many people say, oh, I have SKN and I use the cleanup function. I don't really use the tone function because I don't understand it. Really, that's a common thing I hear. I don't understand it. So this gives you an idea of its power. And I want you to consider what you can do with it in terms of like, if you're doing another way to brighten or darken the skin, another way to get highlights, use the SKN toning. Trust me, you're going to have amazing results that you're going to love. Here again, final comment. It has mostly to do with body skin and toning and shaping bodies right? Works great on faces at times too. The toning is beautiful for all of it. But SKN is, in our humble opinion, the premier Photoshop plugin for body, skin, glamour, boudoir, fashion, fine art, art nude, whatever you want to call it. That's where SKN really shines. Again, leave questions or comments below. And I hope this helps clear a few things up and kind of re-illustrates the power of SKN toning.